This is the final market update video for the month as we wrap up with Oshawa and Clarington. We're going to take a look at how both of these areas performed over the course of 2023, what happened with home prices, and then we'll finish it off with the month over month changes that might be able to help us get a glimpse at how the next few weeks could play out. My name is Jesse McClellan and I'm a realtor here in Oshawa, Ontario with the Lisa Abbott team. I make videos to keep you up to date on everything happening in the real estate market, especially in Durham region. And I do my best to give you an unbiased and also unfiltered perspective into our market. If that sounds like something you're interested in and you enjoy this video, then please subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up because it helps me reach more people like you. And with that out of the way, we'll jump straight into 2023's price history in Oshawa. So Oshawa started off the year with an average price of about $775,000 and it gradually rose to peak pricing in May with an average price of $855,000. Before following a very similar trend to the rest of Durham region until the end of the year, there was that small spike in October, but it went right back to where it was the following month and we ended last month of the year with an average price of $727,000. From January to December, Oshawa saw a 6.1% price decline, and from the peak of the market, Oshawa saw a 14.9% price decline. To give you some context, Durham Region as a whole saw a 2.9% decline from January to December and a 13.9% decline from peak pricing to the end of the year. So Oshawa was one of the areas in Durham Region that did take a bit of a harder hit when compared to the region as a whole. This is why I'm very vocal about buying with resale value in mind. It's not because I think everyone should be a real estate investor and prioritize returns on resale over functionality or affordability preferences, but it's because when the market turns from an extremely hot seller's market to market conditions like we're seeing now where the average home is taking almost a month to sell. Those homes that are in less desirable areas or homes that don't function well for the majority of buyers, they can become very tough sales. And we've seen these scenarios come up a lot over the last two years as the market has gone back and forth from hot to a little bit colder where the seller purchased a home closer to the peak market pricing, they weren't familiar with the area or potential drawbacks on the resale side, and they're now listing it back for sale in a market that's much more buyer friendly and they struggle to get showings or offers. So be mindful of resale, still prioritize what's important to you and get a home that ultimately feels like a home and suits your needs, but if you're shopping in an area that you might not be 100% familiar with, make sure your agent has a very good understanding and is explaining the pros and cons of every home you view. Here's how home prices in Clarington did during 2023. Clarington started the year with an average home price of $821,000 and followed almost the same trend as Oshawa and hit a peak price of $936,000 in June before trending down and ending the year with an average home price of $806,000. That leaves Clarington with a 1.8% price decline from January until December and a 13.9% decline from peak pricing until the end of the year. Clarington's numbers were much closer in line with the changes we saw saw in Durham Region's average price. I still think Clarington is underrated and underappreciated in many aspects. There have been a lot of good opportunities that have come up in Clarington, especially in that entry level price category. And even for buyers moving up from a condo into their first freehold property, Clarington has so much to offer and there's a lot of variety between the different areas there as well. But those opportunities are not going to last long at this current pace of sales and new listings. When we look at December compared to the month prior, Oshawa and Clarington follow the same path as the rest of Durham region. We saw steep declines to the number of new listings, but very minimal changes to the number of sales happening. And just like that, a huge portion of our inventory that the market had built up over the last five or six months has now disappeared. And although January hasn't fully played out yet, in the first 16 days of the year, this trend has not changed. We're still seeing more sales and listing cancellations than we are seeing new listings coming onto the market. So our active inventory levels are even lower right now than we ended with in December. Buyer activity is going to start picking up very soon, and if these inventory levels do not improve significantly, the spring market could turn out to be very similar to what we saw last year. If you'd like to speak with me about buying or selling a property here in Durham Region or one of the surrounding areas, you can use the link in the description to book a call with me at a time that works best for you. There's also a link to the resources page with downloadable buyer and seller guides. Everything you need is there. Thanks so much for watching until the end, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.